Anskar, let's look at Hunsau and talk more about circles and ellipses, which eventually can become spirals and coiling. There are several kinds of circular elliptical hand wrist movements in Wing Chun with the hand wrist doing the circular or elliptical movements in different vertical and horizontal positions. Here you see a variant of that circling hand we saw in video 9 that you might sometimes see in this section of the CNM Tao. Again, we see the body hand generation of the gesture. You might also want to split up this movement and practice just a quarter of this version of the circling hand. The repetitive isolation of a gesture offers the time to relax and dissolve resistance. One more thing regarding repetitive movements and rhythm. Rhythm is contagious and might set many things in motion. If you succeed in keeping the process a dynamic going, it is pretty likely that this will set off other dynamics. Here we have a side view of these two movements. Even external rhythms can inspire diverse reactions. The superficial and the profound are intricately interrelated. It is important to allow your own rhythms to find you. Talk about energetic constellations, the complex and interwoven gestures that point to symbiotic system integration. The same thing again, small circles ellipses and large circles ellipses, smaller circles ellipses within larger circles ellipses. Looking at movement dynamics, you have smaller circular and elliptical energy movements moving within larger circular and elliptical energy movements, giving input to each other. And I think it's important to see this not just in the context of the small and large Hamley circuit, the Xiao Zhou Tian and Da Zhou Tian, but in the context of cycles, networks, constellations, and their interconnectedness from a Taoist philosophical point of view in general. I just mentioned the small and large heavenly circuits, or as they are also called, the microcosmic and macrocosmic orbits. Xiao Zhou Tian, Da Zhou Tian. They usually refer to individual practices. I do not want to see these practices in a narrow individualistic context. When I talk about energy and energetic circuits, networks and constellations, I focus on the broader Taoist philosophical perspective as it is visible in the Tao Te Ching. Everything in the Tao Te Ching is seen in larger contexts and human behavior and individual practice is seen in the context of integration into the large something humans are a part of. In modern terminology, I prefer to talk about ecosystems into which individual practices help to integrate.